uh, welcome back viewers in this video we are going to work on render template so also in static files so let's start so let's start first of all um, I will go here in bootstrap you can open here the bootstrap you can see I will copy this all from here and uh, I will come inside my template in the template I will make one file I will give the name of this file out dot HTML so this is our file then here I will paste it and now what I have to do I will take this part out from here and same I will do for this and uh, also for this and also for this we don't need these part of files so I think it will be better we take it from here or, or you can take it from there also copy this URL and go to here and you can see these all our files so just it and uh, I will come to desktop uh, my shop inside my shop static inside static I will make one folder that folder name will be CSS and created then save I will copy this jQuery part and paste it here again save and now this term this is not CSS and I will come here make another folder this will be JS and I will save this one inside JS and then I will come here again I will this time I will take this part and save to here so that's already a JS file and this one is here also is a JS file save it here and now we are done from here come to here come to our uh, layout page and I will change this part from here to cut this part and make double curly breaks then URL for then parenthesis comma and right here static and after the comma write the file name equal to single quote and again here single quote close the parenthesis and close and close in the curly brackets here so now we have I will copy this part of URL 4 to make it easy paste it here and again to paste it here and I will paste it here also so here we have already JS name of JS and we don't need and then comma and then parenthesis close and curly brackets close and here give the name of JS then come here and single quote close parenthesis and curly bracket and here close parenthesis and close the curly bracket then right here yes and our everything from here is done and for this title I will give it one name so I will give this name title and I will cut this over here and right here no one right here curly brackets and percentage and block content the name of block if you wish you can give the name of the block then in the block block content so we are done from here I will make here one another page this page is for like a registration page to render the template there so we come here app dot route inside there and we will write here register and come here define and here return and render template this will be num template I will put this template in the folder of the admin there I will make one admin folder adds main underscore register dot html also I will give here the title title equal to register register user I have to do now before the running our application I will go to here in desktop 
and change the file structure. I would like to bring my all uh, except to run and my VNV and all inside the shop. Go to here in shop, all folders. These all are now inside the shop. I will bring this route inside the admin and I will leave this one here. I have to make one init file inside the admin every folder we need one init file. So inside the here now it's in an admin page and I will make double underscore init double underscore init double underscore dot file. So we are done from here. So now come here and come to your run page. Here is our run and then debug and Python. Okay, now it's running. Localhost 500, so localhost 5000. You can see this is our page. Then slash register and uh, here admin template doesn't found. Here in the folder will be add admin and the inside the admin folder I will write here one file name will be register. HTML. So now you can see we are here register and uh, inside the register here and curly brackets percentage x x turns and here I will write here layout dot html and then here I will write again percentage and block content and then here so in the block in block content I will check here now if our bootstrap is working or not then we will end the video text let register just text center I'm not read text center we can see I will give it h1 will be So let's see, you can see here now our text are in center and everything is working properly. If you want, you can give the text danger. So you can here give the text, text dash danger. That's all for this video and thank you very much. See you in the next video.